Justice long delayed may finally be delivered. That's the hope and focus of a major new initiative from the state attorney general. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm David Rose. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. The state attorney general is working to finally collect genetic fingerprints from thousands of known criminals. And Fox 13 reporter Steve Kiggins learned many crimes could have been solved much sooner had it not been for administrative oversight. That's exactly right. Attorney general's office has been working on this with the entire team. They've been covering thousands of cases and state law requires many of these felony convicts to submit DNA samples to the state. And while offenders are required to give that sample upon release, thousands just didn't fulfill their obligation for one reason or another. So now the Attorney General's office, they're pouring over these cases and it's sparking new investigations. It may be justice denied, but it's going to happen. That's the promise by State Attorney General Bob Ferguson. His office has gone through thousands of sex offender convictions reaching back to 2002. State law requires convicts submit DNA samples for entry into CODIS, the combined DNA index system, but thousands slipped through the cracks. Yeah, the problem had become so large, the backlog so massive, no one local law enforcement agency has the resources to try to address this. Ferguson says his team has so far brought 372 convicted sex offenders into compliance with the law. Because of their effort, eight offenders' DNA profiles were matched to pieces of evidence already in the state database. Another three unsolved sex offenses are now under criminal investigation in our state, plus three more are implicated in crimes beyond Washington's borders. And another two offenders were found to have already been confirmed as suspects or convicted for new crimes. I found out that there were over 40 um, sexually violent predators out on the island that had never had their DNA collected. Retired Tacoma Police Detective Lindsey Wade encountered the problem about a decade ago working with sex offenders on McNeil Island. Part of the problem, she says, Many convicts were never imprisoned, were released without submitting DNA samples, or died before they could. How do you figure out how many people in Washington state owe DNA? It's not an easy question to answer. That's a question Ferguson and his team hope to answer and bring closure for families suffering long after their trauma. I can't go back in time 20 years and start the process correctly. What I can do is work with my team to go back and collect all the lawfully owed DNA that we possibly can. That said, we need to make sure this isn't reoccurring in the future. The general says they're getting a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice to make all of this work possible. They're still working on these cases with these sex offenders and then likely what's next in the coming months, cases dealing with even more violent crimes like kidnappings and homicides. We'll learn more about those, about those investigations perhaps by this summer.